El Salvador is the only country in the world where you can buy almost anything with Bitcoin. Hola, buenos días. Buenos días. Accept on Bitcoin? Sí, caballero. Last September, the country's cryptocurrency-loving president took the unprecedented decision to make Bitcoin legal tender. This will generate jobs and help provide financial inclusion to thousands outside the formal economy. Around the world, the move is being criticized by the financial establishment and celebrated by crypto fans. So we are following uh, developments closely. And now Salvador is leading the wave, you know? We're proud. But are the people here embracing Bitcoin? Bitcoin has helped a lot to this people. Bitcoin attracts more investors to the country, and that creates a development in our country. Is El Salvador's big Bitcoin gamble paying off? Bitcoin journey didn't start in a city centre tech hub, it started here in a small town on the south coast called El Zonte and it's a weird and mysterious origin story. In 2019 an anonymous donor gave this small fishing village a large donation of Bitcoin. One of the first beneficiaries of the donations was Caterina Contreras. Escuché de Bitcoin desde hace dos años que recién pasábamos lo de la pandemia Eran momentos muy difíciles. Ellos pensaron en poder ayudarnos con un curso de guardavida. Ellos pagaron con Bitcoin transporte para poder ir a hacer el curso. Nos dieron Bitcoin para que pudiéramos comer durante el curso. Nos ayudaron a poder trabajar de eso. Nos pagaron por seis meses en Bitcoin. Me voy a escanear el QR. La chica tiene arriba el QR. Lo escaneo. Y pongo... 1.50, enviar, pagar, listo. Bitcoin ha ayudado mucho a este pueblo. Bitcoin is a purely digital form of money invented by an unknown person or group called Satoshi Nakamoto. The peer-to-peer -peer digital cash works without any need for banks or financial authorities. The unprecedented project in El Zonte, now renamed Bitcoin Beach, has sparked the imaginations of crypto fans the world over. So this is Hope House or Bitcoin Beach, how people know our project. This is like uh, the first circular economy that we created like three years ago. Mm -hmm. And our president has been saying like many times in public that Bitcoin Beach was the project that inspired mm. them to make Bitcoin a legal tender. Mm -hmm. What was it like for you the day that Bukele announced he's going to do that in the whole country? It's a dream that come true, but not just for us. There are many people around the world that were waiting for this. Everyone was dreaming that this will happen one day. So when Bitcoin arrive here, we see people saving money for the first time. We see people transacting digitally for the first time. I born in this community where the opportunities that we used to have were a few. Salvadoran people are dreaming again. You don't mind that this, the original donation that started this all off, we don't know who it is, you don't mind that? Nah, <laughs> okay. but it's like a good message, you know, like because when you help, when you create something that will change the world, it doesn't matter who it is, because everyone is playing like a really important role in this. Since the legal tender change, businesses here say they've seen a big uptick in visitors about 30% more, according to some locals. In the capital, San Salvador, Bitcoin is less accepted by businesses. The government's not enforcing the Bitcoin law, instead hoping people and businesses will embrace the cryptocurrency gradually. Key to their plans is the heavily marketed and heavily subsidized Bitcoin app called Chivo. The app has been a big success with more than 4 million downloads, but surveys suggest that after the initial surge in interest, people have been using Chivo less. This place is a really good example of the lengths the Bukele government is going to to get people to download the Chivo app and use it. This is the largest animal hospital in the country. It's brand new. People are traveling from all over to bring their pets here. The reason is if they pay using the app, preferably in Bitcoin, they can get all the care their pet needs for 25 cents. <laughs> Y 
en total un aproximado de unos casi 500 eh, pacientes diarios. Melvin Rogel, the director of the hospital, says his staff have been flat out ever since the centre opened. Pasan a, a esta área, que es el área de recuperación, y posteriormente o son pasados al área de hospital o son ya eh, regresados a, su, a sus propietarios. It can't be 25 cents. Sí. 25 centavos. Sí, todo. Cualquier cirugía, por más compleja que sea, todas tienen un costo de 25 centavos de, pagando con la, con la wallet de, con Bitcoin. We were told by staff here that the multi-million pound centre was all being paid for with the profits of Bitcoin. But when asked, the government couldn't tell us where these profits were coming from. President Bukele has invested nearly $100 million of public money on Bitcoin, celebrating each purchase with a tweet. The country now has 2,300 bitcoins, often buying them when other investors are fleeing the market. Most of the coins have not risen in value since being bought, and none have been sold anyway, making profit impossible. The Chivo app is also costing hundreds of millions to roll out and run. Tatiana Maraquin is a Salvadoran economist extremely worried about the money being spent. Me parece que hay una manipulación muy grave de dinero público adentro de Bitcoin. Tampoco sabemos exactamente en qué momento compraron Bitcoin, con qué dinero compraron Bitcoin. Hay muchas preguntas acerca de cómo se está manejando ese dinero. Adopción de Bitcoin como legal tender raises a number of macroeconomic, financial, and legal issues. In spite of the criticism, the Central African Republic has followed El Salvador, making Bitcoin legal tender there earlier this year. Other countries, too, are reportedly considering the move. President Bukele is convinced that his plans for Bitcoin will pay off. We tried to set up an interview with him, but in recent months, he's only done interviews with pro-Bitcoin YouTube channels. The government's tourism minister was keen to talk about the benefits she says the country's seen. President Bukele has spent tens of millions of dollars of public money on Bitcoin and the price has gone down. Is there a risk that all that money could be lost, that money could be spent on other things? Es que nosotros sabemos que cada una de las decisiones que él toma en, en este mundo tan cambiante es porque es el momento adecuado. La población tiene una gran confianza en, la, en, en las decisiones del presidente y en cómo se va moviendo también la economía del país. In fact, the Bukele government is doubling down on Bitcoin. He's planning to build a state-of-the-art city shrine to cryptocurrency. He wants to harness geothermal energy from a volcano to not only power the city, but mine for Bitcoin. This is the country's largest state-run geothermal power plant, and tucked away in the back is a small Bitcoin mine. The president said we have to find alternatives de financiamiento para El Salvador, creo mucho en el, en, en el tema del Bitcoin y así empezó la planta eh, de, de, de minería en, en Berlín. Without banks or central authorities, Bitcoin relies on a huge network of volunteers to keep the currency going. Specialist computers are needed to run complex programs to validate each transaction and add it to the public record of payments, the blockchain. In return, the blockchain system automatically rewards miners with new Bitcoin for free. Bitcoin mining can be lucrative when the value of the coins is high. While some countries like China have banned Bitcoin mining, the Salvadoran government is not only allowing it, but doing it themselves. Yes, there are identified resources geothermal in Conchagua. We are going to be able to exploit it in a way that is extremely amicable with the environment. And this will also energize 
eh, gran parte del, 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 del proyecto del presidente que es eh, Bitcoin City. It's a further two hours drive east to get to the volcano itself in La Union. The spirit of the mountain lookout point and campsite will look directly onto Bitcoin City. Luis Diaz owns and runs the business here and is very excited about the president's plans. Hace como tres meses eh, pues vino, vinieron inversionistas, pero que les gustaba el lugar y que si estaba interesado en venderlo. Tajantemente le dije que no, que era un proyecto familiar y que yo pues eh, no eran mis intenciones es. Y me ofreció los 110 bitcoins. En en dólares, like four millions, four millions. Eh, el bitcoin atrae más inversionistas al país y eso crea un desarrollo a nuestro país. But there are fears the government won't be able to raise the money it needs, and it comes as the public finances are in drastic need of improvement, with hundreds of millions of debt due to pay next year. Will Bitcoin City ever actually exist? Si ya se tiene toda la, la planificación de cómo se va a construir, incluso nosotros desde turismo estamos ya planificando proyectos que vayan a beneficiar justamente eh, la construcción de Bitcoin City. At the moment, it's too early to say if El Salvador's Bitcoin gamble could pay off. President Bukele is relying on many things going the government's way, including the price of Bitcoin rising and a largely ambivalent and apathetic public getting behind the currency. The overall impression here is that cash is king for Salvadorans and getting people to embrace a complex cryptocurrency is proving to be extremely challenging and costly. <laughs>